up guys, Chris here. Welcome back to the channel. Glad to see you, glad to have you back. Today I was thinking about, let's, let's talk about the kind of the, the travel bag situation. Not traveling on an airplane, but you know, transporting from your car to your beach or to your to the boat or wherever you want. So for these basic kind of uh, transport bags, let's call them, I, I put them into three different categories. We have your kind of your backpack style, throws goes over your shoulders, obviously. We have your, your, your duffel bag style, um, which you, know, you just have one strap that you can carry or, you, or just carry with your hands. And you have kind of your, your multi-bag, I call it your, your fin bag and gun bag all in one. First off, we have your basic kind of mesh backpack. You have one big pocket in the in the front. You can throw your mask and snorkel, and maybe you know some of your smaller stuff. Um, it has an opening at the top. It has a drawstring. You know you can kind of uh, pull it tighter and looser. Um, like I said, there's just your basic opening. There's, you can throw everything in here: your float, uh, your fins, and your gun. And then you have two two straps that you would uh, you know throw over your left and right shoulder, and then you can you know buckle them both together and have everything secure walk to your spot, hike, the, hike to your spot, walk to your car, to the beach, to the water, wherever you go. The, uh, another feature with these just kind of basic mesh bags is, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of sand and water. They're really heavy duty uh, materials, um, you know, kind of weather resistant materials. On the bottom, they usually have some kind of a grommet or two. So if there's any, you know, water, if you put fish guts and stuff, then it'll, it'll kind of drain out. Or later on when you're washing everything down, I usually just kind of keep everything down and kind of spray it all and hose it down. Or if you have uh, like a uh, pool, you can just dump everything in there and everything will just drain out really nicely. Kind of the last feature is uh, really nice about these is you really want to have something that we can write your name and address, uh, maybe email or if it's stolen or if it's lost, obviously someone can, can ID you and, and hopefully get that back to you. But yeah, this is your basic basic uh, mesh backpack. Pretty cheap these days, not, not gonna break the bank obviously and then get you, get you where you need to go. So they're kind of nicer, uh, upgraded backpack from that really basic level. Again, it's all kind of waterproof, if you will, all material. Um, this is actually the bag that I use. I've had mine for 10 years, traveled all over the world with it and hiked all in the kind of different uh, environments with it. You have your, your, your front pouch, obviously it's, it's Velcro. Really kind of hard to get that, that open, which is what you want. You want it secure. Um, this one comes with a little, uh, a little mesh bag inside so you can put all your your little valuables in there. Heavy, heavy duty straps for the back. Uh, like I said, I've had mine for a long time and these straps have never broken. Um, so you, you, want, you want good quality stitching. Make sure that the, the, the back, the, the straps coming over your shoulders are, are really heavy duty. Another cool feature to these guys is it actually has a side zipper. So it acts like a duffel. Um, you can, you know, if, if, you're, if the bag is on the ground, you can just throw everything inside, zip it up, throw it on your back and away you go. Or, you know, uh, it opens up from the top, like all the rest, it has a nice uh, securing little mechanism there, opens up really well, really wide, throws everything in there. The last cool feature about these guys, it actually comes with an internal dry bag. So I'll throw my towel and all my, you know, electronics and stuff like that inside this. And it's actually almost long enough to put fins in there. Um, so I'll, there's a little space here. I'll actually throw my long blade fins in here, throw all my towel and valuables inside here, wrap it up really nice and secure down to the Velcro and it's you know good, not gonna be coming off. And then everything else inside there, throw it on your shoulder and away you go. This thing's a great bag. Most of these backpacks bags are, are awesome and it's really kind of the way to go, I think. This would be considered our kind of higher end transport backpack it's it's all waterproof um you have a little bit of a mesh pouch here but uh, as you can see on this front zipper here um it's it's really flush and it, once you put everything in there and zip it up and that's waterproof there's no water going inside that thing this is a, a kind of a pvc material so it, you know if you splash water it's just going to splash and, and run off a little, little bit nicer if, you know, if, you, if you're in a climate that's rainy or if it's going to be really wet and you're on the boat all day this would probably be a really nice uh, backpack for you you have side um, a, a little side area for your for your spear gun or if you want to clip anything to your side you can put your put your guns on the side and you can walk um, again 
heavy duty straps on the back is really what you want. Uh, you can see this kind of double kind of double stitching area. When you're looking at, at, at bags, make sure you, you look at the stitching, okay? Because um, th this is really where it's gonna come down to over the time of you know, throwing your heavy stuff and weights in there and, and dragging it around and walking long distances. Um, you, you want these things to, to work really well. This uh, backpack in particular has padding, so it's a lot uh, more comfortable you know, when it's on your back and uh, you can you know, put a bunch of weight in there and, and, and move around and be really comfortable. Um, you'll see you have a lot of clips here. You, once the bag's on, you can clip it around to yourself nice and secure. Um, uh, one of the cool features about these kind of dry bags is if you were to get into some, some, some kind of uh, trouble, um, you can actually fill this up with air, roll it up and secure it you know, really well. And it'll act, act as a float. You can see it's kind of big. You know, so it, it'll it'll keep air for a little while, and, and you can you know actually float on it. These ones do not have a grommet on the on the bottom, so water is not going to come out, uh, and it kind of contains everything really, you know, securely and keeps it, everything dry. On the inside of these guys, you can actually see we have an additional pocket. That's probably for your electronics. It's it's waterproof as well, so you can stick everything in there real secure. Hey guys, I got the your your basic duffel bag. So moving on from the backpack style. Duffel bags, this kind of more, the more traditional style. Um, you have you have basically one strap that's going to be attached to your duffel bag. Um, this one in particular has actually a kind of a dry pouch on the, on the back. Nice uh, flat zipper again. We can put all your you know, kind of may, maybe your, your electronics inside there. Zip it up, and that one's going to be super dry. Nothing getting in there. Actually, this is kind of a combo. This one has a combo mesh with this kind of PVC material. So you can get this, you can get this wet, and water will, will kind of funnel out these this, this mesh stuff. And but yeah, just it's just your basic. I and mean, if you don't want to throw it over your shoulder, you've got the straps. You you can you can combine the straps. There's a there's a Velcro piece here. You can combine the straps and just walk. It's it's probably a short distance, you know, transport bag from say, you know, your truck to your boat or you know, truck down to the beach or something like that. Um, these duffel bags that we carry are long enough for your long fins. Um, we, we, like to, we like to have that feature to our, our duffel bags. Uh, and by them being this long, it's around 40 inches or so, you can actually you know, put a float in there and other kind of longer items. You fit lots of stuff in here. Like I said, all your, your, pretty much all your gear is gonna go in here, your long pins, your, your float, your weights, and stack them up. Uh, short distance travel bag. These things are, again, you wanna look at the stitching, but these things are usually you know, really, really super heavy duty. Uh, uh, materials and they're gonna last for a long long time. Okay guys, last bag I want to talk about today is kind of your combo bag. It's a longer bag as you can see, so it's like a fin slash uh, you know gun bag and kind of put everything in, in between, but it's, it's a longer bag and it's a backpack. So one really cool feature about these guys is as you can see I've got my gun strapped onto the side. Um, both sides have these have these little straps uh you actually this is a double strap i just didn't connect it but um so you can you can bring two guns have it nice and nice and secure to your sides as you're walking to your destination other cool features about these guys is generally you're going to have like a longer uh, zipper pocket in the front you have lots of clips you're going to be able to kind of secure everything uh if you want to just put you know kind of like, like your towel or something in this little um bungee area that's fine but uh all of these guys have a kind of a really secure um, heavy duty zipper. This one actually has some, some nice padding. So you probably wanna put like your, your nicer stuff in here. And the main section of these bags is kind of really for your fins. So these open really wide and it has a little bit of padding, but you can see it's long enough for your long fins. If you have a blow up float, you can roll it up, put it in there. Your weights can go in there as well. Um, most of these bags have kind of a side pouch as well. Um, so you can you know throw some some extra little extras in there. This this Cressy this Cressy fin bag has a nice taco design, pretty sweet. You can see those couple couple taco leg octopus legs. I really love it. I really love the way it looks. Okay, guys, that's a wrap for today. We appreciate you checking our video out. Please give us a like, subscribe to the page, and we'll see you next time.